big push, and the barrel rolls down the hill. Of course, I was inside. Oh, what a thrill. It goes so fast. Dear God, how long is this going to last? And then finally, stop. I land flat on my belly. Now my insides feel like jelly. Hand to my stomach, the other to my head. Oh no, everyone's laughing. My face is turning red. Man, how could this be? How'd I get in this mess? And there I see the culprits pointing along with the rest. Joining in on the laughter, those stupid bastards. If I didn't feel so sick, I'd chase them around with a wood stick. Make them pay, rule the day they messed with me. I know, I'll get them stuck up in a sappy tree. Sure, yeah right, if courage I could only find to get me off my stinking behind. And as I lay in the barrel, looking at my scrapes and bruises, I realize I don't want to be scared or that kid that always loses. And all of a sudden, I find that courage. Just like that, I snap. I realize I've had enough and ain't taking no more of their crap. So I take one long deep breath and I put those thoughts to rest. And I get out of that barrel, no longer filled with fright or peril. My mind's filled with so many decisions, dancing around all these visions. So I yell at them, what's it gonna be? Is it A, poke your eyes out so you can't see? How about B, scare you so much it'll make you pee? Or maybe C, hit you where it hurts with my knee? Whichever you decide, it better be good. Cause if not, I'm gonna terrorize your neighborhood. And there I stand, proud of who I be, as those bullies run scared and flee.